Rocker here. Welcome to today's full body workout. We're gonna work that body head to toe with some really fun moves to add some resistance, work that muscle tissue. We're gonna be using some weighted objects just for that purpose. If you don't have dumbbells at home, don't worry. You can always use water bottles, water jugs, um, anything around your house that will give you some extra resistance just so that you can challenge yourself even more. Also today, if you want to incorporate your exercise ball, if you have one, I'm going to be using this prop. I absolutely love the exercise ball. You can do a lot with it. We're going to show you some of those moves today. And if you don't have one, don't worry. I will, as always, show you alternatives to do them without the exercise ball. So let's get right into this workout. And I want you to, without any equipment at all, join me standing tall. And I want you to, we're going to do some alternating reverse lunges together to get those legs warmed up. So let's step it back, step it back. And now what I want you to do is work on bringing one arm up overhead as you step it back. So step it back, raise the arm. Now let's talk about how we're gonna raise those arms up because it's easy when you're not holding any weights to just like raise your hand, right? <laughs> so I want you to tuck your elbows in close to your body, tight to your body, make soft fists as if you were holding weights. And then I want you to deliberately press that fist up overhead with control and then bring it right back into your body. Your palms are gonna face the side of your head, so they're not gonna face forward. This is gonna give you a lot more control. Last one. Now go ahead and pick up some lighter weights because when we're going overhead, we don't wanna overdo it. We're gonna use that same good form. Engage your core. My heart is already <laughs> going, my heart rate's going up just from doing that little warm up. So step it back, press the arm up overhead, Use control in those step backs. You're gonna keep that core nice and braced as you do this. Great job. Keep breathing. And remember, you're wearing a crown on your head. Don't let it tip off. That's how you're gonna maintain that nice upright body. And I want you to do eight to 12 reps of this on each side. Great job. If you're starting to feel like, oh my gosh, I think I chose the wrong amount of weight, it's too heavy, go ahead and drop the weights down and continue with a few additional reverse lunges or hold the weights at your sides and do a few additional reverse lunges till you get to that eight to 12 rep range. Really up to you. Remember, you always have options. Whew. Last two for me. And Done. Nice job. See your heart rate up now? Uh, today's workout is a low impact strength workout and yet your heart rate <laughs> will go up. All right, next move is going to be a chest fly. So with the chest fly, you're gonna be in a reverse tabletop, opening your arms and then bringing them back together. Options for this are the Swiss ball or you can also do this straight up on your mat or on an ottoman. So you're just gonna position your back so that your head is supported and from here you'll come in and out. Same thing if you're down on the mat, very similar. You're gonna have your arms up straight over your chest and drawing them in and out together. If you're using the exercise ball, all that this is gonna do is provide a little bit of instability for you to work on to help you also get more core engagement. So I'm gonna roll myself down so that my head is on the ball and I'm gonna lift my hips up, squeezing my butt, and then I'm gonna bring my arms straight up over my chest and then release them out to the sides and press them back together. <sighs> Breathe out as you press together Breathe in as you come down. Great work. Nice and smooth and controlled. I want eight to 12 reps here. And this is, again, we've been working on this this month, really paying attention to selecting the right resistance for your workout. And this is just a great rep range to work within to find the right amount for you for today's workout. So eight to 12 reps is your rep range. If you can barely do eight reps, then you might want to go down a little bit in resistance. If you're finding it's so light that you can do 20 reps, 
you might want to go a little heavier. And hey, if you don't have a lot of options, do what you can with what you have. Go ahead and do more reps if you have a very light weight. That's fine. That's one great way to train. There's lots of great ways to train. There's no one perfect way. <sighs> right? Bring the weights down to your chest when you're done and come down with control. And we're going to come into our next move, which is for the glutes and legs. It's an elevated uh, bridge lift. So your feet are going to be elevated. And just like we did with the chest fly, you have options. You can either elevate your feet on an ottoman like this, <laughs> and you can lift yourself up and lower down. You'll see you'll get plenty of range here. And if you want an extra challenge or you have the option, we're going to do it on the Swiss ball. So I'm going to put my feet on the ball and just balancing your feet on the ball is a challenge in itself. There's a lot of core stability that's needed for this and it's, it's not easy. One of the things you're going to be doing with your ball is you're going to be pulling it in as you lift your butt up. So dig your heels down into your ball, put your hands out to the sides for balance and stability and lift up. Nice and smooth and controlled here. So you're gonna get a little bit of more bonus hamstring with the ball because you're gonna roll it in slightly. Great job. Squeeze your butt at the top, whether you have your feet on your ottoman or on a ball. Both of these are great. Now we're not using any resistance here because I want you to really get comfortable with this movement and you're using plenty of muscles to, to do this, even with no extra resistance at all. So I'd be interested to hear where you feel this the most. Whew. It's definitely a posterior chain move, whether you're doing it with a ball or with an ottoman. Whew. Really working the back side of that body, your glutes, hamstrings. Whew. I'm gonna do three more. Whew. Let's go. Go to your end feel with this one. I'm not going to give you a set rep range here, just to where you feel like you can still do reps with good form, but not to total failure. All right, great job. We're going to come back to the top of that set and do our alternating reverse lunges with the overhead press a second time. So go ahead and calibrate. How did you feel in your first set? Was the amount of resistance that you chose just right? Was it a little too heavy, a little too light? Do you have options? Go ahead and play around with that so that you can get into that eight to 12 rep range. <sighs> Stand tall, imagine you're wearing a crown on your head, shoulders back and down in their sockets as if they were up against a wall, brace your core, bring those elbows in close to your body, bringing the weights up to your shoulders, and then step it back, press up. As you step it back, really keep your body straight as an arrow. Keep your core nice and engaged. You got this, really great work. Keep breathing and don't arch your back, especially when we're going up overhead, we wanna keep a really strong braced core. So strong, so powerful. This is not an easy move, it's challenging. Stick with it, eight to 12 reps, both legs. And option with both arms is to stop doing the press if you get to a point where it's too much. <sighs> Come on, I've got two more each side. <sighs> and I say that because I can tell when I'm getting to the end of my ability to do this with good strong form. <sighs> when you're done, <sighs> bend the knees, set down your weighted objects, and we're gonna do our chest flies. You can do these on the floor, on an ottoman, or on an exercise ball, your choice. Whew. Let's go ahead and grab the weighted objects that we're wanting to use for this particular move and get yourself situated so that your head and neck are supported. Lift through your glutes if you're up in reverse tabletop, press your arms up straight overhead and then lower them out to the sides and press them in to center. Great job. Keep breathing. Eight 
to 12 reps, please. Keep those hips lifting if you're up. Really nice work, come on. Last two for me. As always, feel free to go beyond me or feel free to stop before me. I'm using my own um, advice and doing my rep range with the weight that I have and we're all in different places and we'll need different um, rep ranges or reps basically to complete. We're all in the same rep range, but it's gonna mean different things. It's very subjective to each of us. Now I'm gonna come into my second set of the elevated bridge lifts. So go ahead and set yourself up for the second one. Now, if you're more static, if you're using your ottoman, feel free to challenge yourself and put a weighted object across your lap this time. Personally, I'm feeling so challenged by the lift up and the balancing with the exercise ball. I'm not gonna add any resistance, but if you wanna add in a little extra resistance and you're static, as in not on the ball, that's a great way to increase your challenge. So let's go ahead and get ourselves in position. Great job. Have your hands out to the sides for balance. Lift your butt up, and if you're using the exercise ball, roll the ball in towards you. Nice job. Really dig your heels down for additional control. And if you're a fan of or know my blueberry spine activation for your core, go ahead and make sure that each time you come down, you gently engage blueberry spine. That's where you gently press your lower back down onto the mat as if you were pressing down on an invisible big fat blueberry without totally squashing it. So what we're doing there is we're just showing our spine how to be in a really nice neutral position, which is gonna engage our glutes even more when we lift up and also gonna brace our core. Really great job. I'm not gonna give you um, a rep count here unless you've added weight. If you've added weight, try for that eight to 12 reps and see where you're at. Challenge yourself. If you're body weight, do as many reps as you can with good form. I'm starting to get tired here with this one, so I'm gonna try two more. Last one. Lower down with control when you're done. And come on up, move your props out of the way. Really great job. We're gonna come back to the top of this series one final time and do our third set of those alternating reverse lunges to overhead press. So go ahead and pick up the resistance that you're using. Stand tall, shoulders back in their sockets. You got this. Here we go. Arms up to shoulders, core braced, and we step back and we press overhead. Once you've done that on both sides, that counts as one rep. So we want eight to 12 reps on each side. Don't let your knee bang down onto the mat. You wanna have a lot of control as you're lowering yourself down. It's okay if your knee kisses the mat, but it can also hover just above it. Keep breathing. Keep that crown on tall, you queen. Keep up the great work. Think about the way that you're approaching today's workout and how this approach, this thoughtful, self-caring approach can be the same way that you approach many things in your life. The fact that you show up, that you're committed, that you use good form, that you pay attention to the details as best you can. These are all really important life skills in my opinion. So bravo, eight to 12. Last one for me on each side. Feel free to go beyond me, feel free to stop before me. Whew. Bend the knees when you're done to set down your weighted objects to support your back. Great work. All right, coming into our last set of chest flies. Remember, you can do these down on the mat. And by the way, if you are down on the mat and you want the extra benefit of the hip lift, well, feel free to come up into a bridge while you're doing the chest fly. You may have already thought of that, but if not, that's a fun way to do your last set and add even more challenge to yourself. If you're on the ottoman or on the ball, 
you're already lifting your hips. Let's go ahead and find our weighted objects and get ourselves in position, lowering ourselves down so that our head and neck are supported. Lift up through your hips, press up with your arms straight overhead, over your chest, and then open the arms. You could have a soft bend in your elbow here and then bring the palms back together. You can go all the way down as far as your torso, or if you feel confident, you can go a little bit farther. Just make sure that you're not straining your shoulder joint. Just feel how it feels for your body. This is, I really like this when I open up my chest because with the extra weight, it gives you a great opportunity to stretch out the fascia and muscles in your chest. This is one of the reasons I enjoy being up elevated on the Swiss ball because it just really cradles the body and provides good support as I open and close. Last one for me. <sighs> Go to what's appropriate for you today. Remember, we all may be feeling different ways, even within the same 30 days. It could be that you didn't get a great night's sleep and you're just a little more tired. Listen to your body if that's the case. It might be that you're in, if you just ovulated, if you're still having a regular monthly cycle, if you just ovulated or you're in that second half of your cycle, your body has more inf inflammatory response going on. Your, your body temperature is more elevated. You may not be getting as deep of sleep. So back off a little bit in your training if that's the case. Listen to your body, do your best. Let's go ahead and start our very last move of this circuit. Feet up on the ball or up on your ottoman. Hands out to your sides, engage that blueberry spine and begin lifting your hips. If you're doing this on the ottoman, again, I invite you to add resistance. Of course, if you're doing this on the ball and you're just feeling super tough today, feel free to add the extra resistance. You are welcome to do that if you are comfortable. Um, I'm doing what feels good for my body today, and I am really feeling this, loving it. <sighs> Stay focused, eight to 12 reps if you're using um, a weighted object and an ottoman. Eight to 12 reps if you're using a weighted object in the ball. If you're doing body weight, I want you to do as many reps as possible until you feel like you're losing, almost gonna lose your form. I want your final rep to still have excellent form though. Great job. Really lift up through the glutes as you come up. Squeeze at the top and then lower down with control. Reset, blueberry spine, and then lift again. Oh, I've got one more to go. <laughs> Woo. Release it down. Oh my goodness. Really great work. Let's move that out of the way. We're gonna move into our second circuit. Feel free to hydrate yourself or if you're using Rock and Restore, my essential preform aminos, please feel free to have some of those. Now I came into this workout fuel, even though it's pretty early in the morning, I made sure that I had a protein shake this morning because I knew I was gonna come to my workout soon after. So that's a really great way to be fueled for your workout without having a big heavy breakfast. It's when I'm done with my workout, I'm gonna eat breakfast so that's just one way that you can do it. If you're working out at a different time of the day where it's more convenient to eat your, your regular meal, that's great too. You have your regular meal, you train about an hour, hour and a half later, that's gonna be great. So lots of options. Just the research and the science for women really shows that we do better in a fed state. So just something to think about. All right, this next series is super fun. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna grab two light weights or one of my regular weights that I used in my last series. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold them in at our chest, bring our feet to a sumo stance, squat it down and back, keeping your body upright, and then you're gonna turn and pivot into a lunge, bringing your arms out. As you come back to center, bring them back in, keep your shoulders back as you press out, going the other direction. Got it? So we're just pivoting staying low, adding this option to press out in the lunge position. 
This is very challenging. You will feel this in your inner thighs, your glutes, your chest and shoulders. Such a fun move. So good. Just like we talked about with the overhead press. If you start to get burned out with the arm move, feel free to just hold the weights in close to your chest and just work the leg movement. I'm gonna keep you going for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Bend the knees, set the weighted objects down. Move number two, we're gonna use a Swiss ball again, but if you don't have one, you are going to come down and do slow mountain climbers. So knee to chest, alternating knees. You can also do this elevated, knee to chest, up against the side of your couch. If you have an exercise ball, once again, I'm gonna invite you to challenge yourself with balance. We're gonna try for about 10 to 12 reps of knee pull-ins. So balance your shins on your ball, if you're using the ball, that'll give you more control. Brace your hands just below your shoulders and then tuck your knees in towards your chest. If you're doing this without the ball, you can do up to 15 to 20 each leg. Probably already started, so you've got a head start. Keep your core braced, keep your back flat, keep your head and neck in neutral, as in don't look down or up. You got this. These are very tough. That was my last one. Whew. Great job. Last move in the circuit is what we call a skull crusher. So you can do this with your ottoman or your exercise ball, or you can do it on the mat. If you're on the ottoman, you're gonna put yourself in the similar position to how you did the chest fly, where your head and neck are gonna be braced. You're gonna bring your arms up overhead, and then you're gonna lower them down and press up, flexing and extending at the elbow joint. If you're doing that on the ball, it's the same thing. You can also do that down on your mat with your hips lifted or flat on the mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ball, a couple of my weights, eight to 12 reps is your goal here. So bring your arms straight up overhead, ratchet them back slightly to 45 degrees and begin. Press up and out. Keep breathing. Keep your elbows hugging in towards each other. Do not let them splay out to the sides. And this is your first set, so this is a great time to calibrate. Maybe you feel like the weight you selected is too light or too heavy. You can always change it, and we're gonna do this again. So great job. When you're done, come back down with control. Let's go ahead and stand up and do another set of those super fun lunge twist presses. So grab some light resistance, come into that nice wide sumo stance, and begin. Twist and press to the left, squat again. Twist and press to the right, pressing out with your weighted objects. Remember, you could be using one weighted object here, or two, I've got two very light weighted objects that I'm using. And each time I come back in, I'm really remembering to keep my back straight not rounding forward. And we really worked on our lunge position in our first circuit. So stick with that, body upright. You're just pivoting your feet. Nice job. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. Let's come back into the knee tuck. We're gonna work through this. You got this, whether you're doing single legs in and out, or you're using your exercise ball. Remember exercise ball, we're gonna balance the ball under our shins and tuck it in. <sighs> Keep breathing. Keep those hands stacked just below shoulders. Nice, strong plank position. Don't lift your hips up. <sighs> 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 
you're starting to feel like this is easy to do with your feet, with your shins balanced on the ball, you can walk your feet out so that you have even less of your leg balance and just your tops of your feet. It's gonna make it even more challenging. Whew. <laughs> and when you're complete, nice job, come down with control. And we're gonna do our second set of skull crushers. So maybe you wanna go up a little bit and wait, since this is your second set. If that first set didn't feel like it was challenging enough, or maybe you had just the right amount. Bring yourself into your position, squeeze through your hips, lift up, press up over your chest with your weighted objects, ratchet your arms back to 45 degrees, bend your elbows, allowing the weighted objects to come down towards the crown of your head, keeping your elbows pulling in towards each other so they're not flailing out to the sides. You've got this. Come on, you feel your triceps working here. Lots of strength and the rotator cuff holding you in this position. Keep breathing, keep your core strong. I noticed my hips started to sag because I was focusing on the arms. Lift those hips up for a little extra challenge. So good. Last two for me, feel free to stop before me. Feel free to go past me. So strong. Lower it down, we've got one final set. Moving through this quickly. You're nice and warm. You can do this. We're gonna grab those very light weighted objects and do those lunge twist press outs one final time. Get into that nice sumo stance. Bring the weights in close to your chest. That's right, let's go. Press, center, press, center. Now as best you can, keeping your hips low the entire time is really challenging. <laughs> so one option that you have, of course, is to kind of come up a little bit and then bounce down low. Or if you're feeling stronger and stronger, just stay low. <sighs> really keep your shoulders back in this movement. Remember, you always have the option to stop the press and just continue with the legs. Great job. Oh, I'm gonna count it down. Coming up here, I know you're getting tired. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fabulous work. Oh my gosh, bend the knees to set down your weighted objects. Set yourself back up for knee tucks. I know you're feeling this. Doing such a great job. Get your feet on your ball if you're using it or set yourself up in that plank position. Remember, elevated plank works too. Here we go, 10 to 20 with the legs. If you're doing it with no ball, about 10 reps would be great if you can do it on the ball. 12 is fine, eight is fine. Eight to 12 reps is a great range for this move, especially if you're newer to it. Hang in there. So close, so good. Last two for me. <laughs> really nice guys keep up the great work when you're ready we're gonna do our very last set of chest flies so go ahead and position yourself on an ottoman on your back on the mat or on your ball with your head and neck supported and your hips lifted bring the weighted objects up over your chest and turn your palms to face your knees. Ratchet the arms back to 45 degrees and then bend the elbows, allowing the weighted objects to come down towards your head. Lift up through your hips. Great job. Come on. Eight to 12 reps.
Bring those weighted objects to your shoulders. Send your hips back. 10 reps. One, two. Keep your core braced. Keep your back upright, chest upright. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. And 10. Amazing work. Go ahead and set down those weighted objects. Whew. Thank you so much for joining me for today's workout, Rockstar. That was so much fun and you did such a great job. I would love to invite you into my inner circle, Rock Your Life, which is my online home workout studio and women's fitness community where we have a massive class library with every type of workout you can imagine, all at your fingertips, over a thousand classes to choose from. Plus, we have actual programs inside of your members area. We have 30-day challenges, we have 21-day challenges, we have five-day challenges, we have seven-day workshops, we have all kinds of really helpful and valuable information to really cover all the bases for you, whether you're training at home or you wanna go train in the gym. We've got you covered. Plus, we offer all of the support and guidance that you need inside of our private, exclusive women's fitness community where we would love to welcome you and support you on your journey to reaching your goals. As always, I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing. And I look forward to working out with you again real soon. Have a great day.